If you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do? Hi, I'm Alan Maddox, and I'm a life coach and tutor for middle school students. And I wanted to thank you for spending some time to talk to me about a question that really intrigues me. We are always taught from the very beginning that failure is not an option. Tests that we take in school, learning new skills, getting a job, and developing a career, we are always told that failing is a bad thing. And it really is not. It's one of the ways that we, we learn. But that being set aside for another discussion, I wanted to hear your inputs on what would you be or what would you be doing if you could not fail? Now, I know everybody's going to be saying, oh, I want to be rich and famous. I want you to be more specific than that. I want you to tell me how, what, where, who, when, there's a lot to do with this. I want you to be very, very specific. You want to be a famous athlete. Doing what? I want to play football. Doing what? I want to play for the Eagles. Doing what? I want to be a linebacker. Doing what? I want to be first string linebacker for the Eagles. That's a lot more specific. There's other things. Would you like to be on stage? Would you like to be an entertainer? Would you like to be a writer or an artist? Would you like to be a surgeon, scientist, an explorer? Oh man, go to space, be on the expedition to Mars. That would be awesome. But let's be very specific about what it is that we want to do if we could not fail. I want you to see in your mind what it is that you see when you are successful. What would it be? How would you feel? What is around you? Are you on a stage? What kind of stage? Is it a big audience? 5,000, 20,000, 100,000? Is it a small audience? 200, 50, 10? Who is with you? Are you with a group? Are you on a team? Are you by yourself? Who are the people that support you when you are successful? Not friends, friends and family. I'm talking about if you're a famous doctor, surgeon, who else is in the operating room? There's You don't do everything by yourself. You're on stage and you're performing. Who else is with you? It's not a solo act. There's other people. If you're an athlete and you're out on a field, who's with you? Who's on the team? What team is it? I also want you to think about other things that occur during your great success. What does it smell like? Mm. Are there any tastes? Is there anything that you touch that you can feel the texture of? What does your success sound like? Now I want you to think about how achieving this goal will affect the people around you, the people closest to you, your family, your mother, your father. Do you have brothers and sisters? How would it affect them? Do you have aunts, uncles, grandparents, cousins? Are you from a big family, a small family? How is it going to affect them? Is it going to affect them? How about your closest friends? Are they the people who are with you in that instant of your success? Or are they people that you get together with when you decompress and get away from it? What about your acquaintances? We're not talking about your people who are your closest friends. We're talking about people that you know. Um, neighbors. People that you went to school with. What about the, the people that you just say hi to on, on every day, that you see every day in and out, but you don't really know their names? But... You do see them every day. Just tell me, how do you think it will it would affect them? Would they be happy to have known you? Would they think that you are totally ignoring them? Would they feel useless? Or would they feel a contributing part of your life? What about other people? How is it going to affect them? People that you don't know. If you're a performer, the people that you don't know are people out in the audience who are watching you. If you're an artist, it's the people who see your work. 
whether it's hanging up on a wall or a statue that's out in the park. You've never seen them. You never will see them, but it will affect them. If you're a surgeon, if you're a doctor, if you're a scientist, if you're an explorer, all the people that you've never met, you've never seen, but have seen you and your success, how will it affect them? Think about that. Okay, we have this picture. And it's a lot of detail in that picture of who, what, when, and where of your success that you have achieved without failure. Now think, what would happen if you didn't achieve this goal? I'm not talking about failing. I'm talking about if you never even tried. If you looked at this goal and said, that's just too tough. I'm not going to make that. I'm not even going to try. I'll, I'll do something else. What would happen? What would happen? How would that affect your family? Now compare what would happen, how, how would it affect your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, between being successful and not even trying. And I want you to also look at where are you when you're not successful? What are you doing now? You didn't reach the goal that you wanted to, that you dreamed of. You didn't even try. So what are you doing? And how is this alternate lifestyle affecting your people? All the things that your parents have achieved or received from you because of your success, they don't have. Same thing with all your friends. They don't have it. What about all the people that you don't know, that you've never seen, that you had a massive effect on because of your exploration, your art, your science, everything that you put into it that affected all the people in the world that you've never met and they've never been affected by you. Next time we get together and we talk, I want to talk a little bit deeper on this and explore it a little bit more. Watch out for the next episode. If you'd like to talk to me more about this or any other topic, please feel free to contact. I'd very much like to know what you're thinking. You can direct message me, send me an email, a text. You can also go to my Facebook page and I'll make an appointment to talk to me. If that's your style, whatever works for you, let me know. I'm really interested in hearing what you have to say. What would you do if you could not fail? If you know somebody that who would be interested in this topic, please share it with them. I'm quite sure that they would be very grateful that you did. If you like this, there's a, there's a like button down there somewhere, along with the share button and all that kind of stuff. And there's probably a subscribe button somewhere down there. Please press them. Make a comment. I'll answer it. But overall, if you're a student, and you want to talk about the direction that you're headed in. If you've got questions, if you want to explore it a little bit deeper, or a lot deeper, if you want to come up with a path to follow to achieve your goals, please let me know. I'm here to help, and I'd be glad to talk to you. Thank you very much.